All right, so I'm going to pick up from where I left off with doing the exploration of the synth hideout base thing. Let's see, there's some things over here to investigate. Let's see what's written here. Nothing escapes Detective Paimon's eyes. Hmm. Callus. Navia's father. Oh, this seems to be an investigation report on him. It's probably related to his and Jacques's case. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. It's about finding someone to assassinate Jacques and Callus because of a lack of confidence that Jacques himself would go through with it. This should prove the existence of the third person, right? Is there anything else? Hmm. We still have not determined the exact content of the key information Callus has passed on to certain members of his organization. The old dog's a real menace to deal with. Even if he abides by the promise he's made to us, he will still have the upper hand. He can act whenever he wants to make our lives miserable. The only option left is to remove him from the picture entirely. I concur. Let's send someone to kill him. He won't declare war as long as we don't touch Navia. Oh, seems like we've got a bunch of correspondence between the higher-ups. They planned this well in advance. <laughs> They're all just so evil. Callus concerning... Or clues concerning the Callus case that were found inside the bookshelf. The mastermind did not believe that Jacques would do the deed, and thus sent a third party to ensure Callus' death. The content that followed also defined the culprit's motive to some extent. Make sure I didn't miss anything else besides the water. Oh, look! There's an important looking basin over here! And it's full of water! That must be the water from the Primordial Sea. That means this is where they make all the synth. And that special water is the main ingredient. If you dilute it with normal water, you'll get synth. But the pure stuff can dissolve a human. Paima will take notes on this incriminating evidence. The pool found within the headquarters is filled with water from the Primordial Sea. The Mastermind can use this to create synth and directly use it to dissolve people. There must be We've something else. almost everything here, and it seems like our theories were spot on. But... Who really is this Vache? Yeah. We haven't found anything that reveals his true identity. No wonder even Nervalette wasn't able to find anything. Whoever it is probably destroyed everything to do with that name a long time ago. That way, even if we bring all this back to the opera, we won't be able to identify the true culprit. Clever. But maybe not clever enough. Let's look again. Sure thing. Paimon won't admit defeat to this guy either. Can't you do like a handwriting analysis thing? So investigate everything again. Pool full of water from the primordial sea. Countless sins were born of it. Nothing else here seems particularly noteworthy. Besides the investigation port, there are also a lot of research materials here. It seems their experiments have been going on for a very long time. But there's nothing here on Vache's true identity. According to record, Vache didn't care how many victims he had to dissolve in his quest to bring his lover back to life. But there's nothing here on Vache's true identity. Bottles full of synth water from the primordial sea. These can be used as evidence to prove that this place was used for. Nothing here seems particularly noteworthy. Maybe it's in the containers of these things. The name. You take that side and Paimon will take this side. Check everything carefully. We'll find something for sure. After 
some time. Ugh. Nothing at all. And Paimon can't even find snacks either. Paimon, I found it. Oh, really? Let Paimon see. Rhaenyra. Isn't that Vashe's lover's name? Then you found her diary. Let's see. Aww. It's just a normal diary chronicling their love story. She was so sweet, too. Oh, Paimon feels even worse for her now. Aww. Okay, take a look at this page. She made a list of baby names. So many! A whole page is worth! But they're all crossed out. Was she unhappy with all of them? The final name she decided on was... Marcel. Wait, but... Marcel's pretty old. Oh, has this case been going on for so long that he's Bache and Vignere's grown son? I figured it out. Let's go, Paimon. Uh, hey! Paimon still hasn't figured it out yet. A notebook belonging to the lady named Vignere... She records many stories of her time with her lover, Vache. On one of these pages, she prepared many names for their future child, and the name she set on in the end was Marcel. Mar he's Vache is using Marcel as an alias. Probably. That's what I'm suspecting. And whose image do you see, Marcel? Is it a man named Vache? <laughs> oh, so you do know that name. I... <laughs> Merely surprised you'd suddenly say the name of someone I've never even heard of. I was waiting for you to say that. Nadia! We're back! Uh, as expected of my partner, I just knew you'd return in the nick of time. Just how often do you intend to flout the rules of this court? It's all right, Monsieur Nervalette. Given their confidence, I expect they've found the crucial evidence. You say you've never heard of Vache. But the truth of it, Marcel, is that you've always been Vache. Huh? We've investigated your lair and we already know everything! After your lover, Veneer, was dissolved, you kept abducting young women to experiment on the hopes of bringing her back to you! You even created Marcel as a new identity and destroyed all records of your past as Vache. So that's it. Even the villains in opera performances rarely go that far. And with that, Marcel's motive has now been established. This information regarding your past also dismantles your prior timing defense. Well, Marcel, do you know where you went wrong? <sighs> You fixated your gaze on the lover that passed away, instead of paying attention to the living people around you. So, you never noticed how we changed, or how we grew as individuals. You also never understood Boss's real expectations for his daughter. Or our determination to see things through. Your determination! <laughs> Mr. Marcel, please speak up now if you would like to defend yourself. Otherwise, the trial will move on to the next stage. Do you think... Do you really think I wanted to do any of this? He's basically Pay attention to you. <laughs> what for? Have you ever paid attention to me? Ever empathized with my pain? Ever known how it feels to watch the love of your life dissolve right in front of your eyes? No one helped me. No one even believed me. All those decades ago, even the officers from the Maison Guardianage were laughing at me. They said there's no way a human being can turn into water. So I must have gone mad from grief. Vignere's death was brushed away by all of you as if it didn't matter at all. Well, now you know, don't you? Ha! Well, it's too late now. All those who were dissolved are gone forever. You only have yourselves to blame. You set up this ornate opera house in pursuit of your so-called justice. Your beloved drama. 
while turning a blind eye to the suffering of the people. Vinier is dead. We promised each other that we would always be together. Wherever she goes, I will follow. But I'm not from this blasted place. So I can't be dissolved. No matter what I do. Hey, is that water from the primordial sea that he's drinking? I can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. Can't dissolve. <laughs> do you all see? I can't go. I can't follow. So if I can't go where she is, what choice do I have but to try to bring her back? I did all of that, and in the end, that accursed callus still got the better of me. I spent my entire life living on pins and needles, only to get stabbed by his idiot daughter at the very end. <laughs> the suspect is exhibiting signs of mental distress. Guards, please restrain him. Don't touch me! Don't anybody come near me. I still need to save Vinier. Her promise. We made a promise. Vinier. Vinier. Please, Vinier. Don't think badly of me. All I want to do is fulfill our promise. At this point, the verdict of this trial is clear. With Mr. Marcel's conviction, the charges against Mr. Tartaglia no longer have any basis. Fine by me. I was in a bad mood, but after a show like that, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Traveler, please submit all the evidence you have collected to the guards, so that I might review and summarize the truth behind the serial disappearances case. You should have said Vignier's the last words. The man now known as Marcel was originally named Varche, and worked as an adventurer with his partner and lover Vignier. During an underwater expedition, Vignier accidentally came into contact with water from the Primordial Sea, and was dissolved in front of Vache as a result. Vache learned of the Primordial Water's existence through the work of others, and began to kidnap young women for research, with the goal of discovering a method to restore Vignier back to life. To cover his tracks, he invented the new alias of Marcel, and began to operate a business in Poisson. During the course of his research, Vache discovered that a diluted concoction of water from the Primordial Sea can induce feelings of euphoria, and began to manufacture and market synth. However, as he accumulated wealth to fund his continued research and expanded the scope, he came into conflict with Spina di Rasula. After exchanging blows with Spina di Rasula for many years, Vache decided to assassinate their president, Callus, at a banquet. Although the assassination did not go as Vache expected, he was able to turn Callus into the murder suspect by dissolving the assassin he sent to the scene. And just recently, Vache attempted to frame Linny as the culprit of the serial disappearances case using a similar method. However, his attempt to frame Linny failed, and the power of water from the primordial sea became public knowledge. This case also exposed enough of Vache's machin- Thus concludes Oops. the enigmatic yeah, history of the serial disappearances case, with the truth revealed to all. The Oratrice will now deliver the final verdict regarding the charges against Mr. Vache. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Vache is guilty. Vache away. Good. It's what he deserves. Uh, with that, the serial disappearances case is over now. Mm, no, I think there's something that's going to happen. We really just witnessed history. Who would have thought the true culprit would be such a polite and well-spoken guy? Yippee! We have Navia bring the bad guy to justice! He's hurt so many innocent people and now he's getting what he deserves huh are you okay navia <sighs> demoiselle you were absolutely brilliant a day our late boss had always hoped for has finally come you can rest easy now knowing justice has been served yeah yeah it's finally over 
It's all thanks to you guys. And my partner. See, Papa? Spina di Rosula's still doing well with me at the helm. Well now, hasn't this been a most delicious piece of drama? The villain has been caught, justice has been served, past wrongs have been righted, and it's a big ol' happy ending. Since it's been such a great show, I'll just let the false accusations against me slide. Either way, I've still got some business to attend to, so if you'll excuse me... Please wait just one moment, Mr. Tartaglia. Uh, what now? Oh. None of this has anything to do with me. According to court protocol, since this trial was initiated due to a charge against you, a verdict must also be made regarding the initial charge before the trial can conclude. Oh, come on. Is this really necessary? Haven't you already caught the real criminal? Isn't it time for side characters like me to exit stage left? Please respect the laws of Fontaine. This has always been the rule. All right, all right, but this sure is a lot of hassle. All I need to do is stand over there, right? Let's just get this over with. Through evidence presented in the public trial that was just held, it has been established that Mr. Tartaglia has no direct connection to the serial disappearances case. The guilty party has been identified, and thus it is logical to suppose Mr. Tartaglia is innocent of the charges. We now turn to the oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal, to render the final verdict on the charges. You better not say he's guilty. Hmm. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, Mr. Tartaglia is guilty. What? How is he guilty? He had nothing to do with it. What? Hey, hey! That's not funny! Didn't you just say I'm supposed to be innocent? What's with this verdict? Is your justice machine malfunctioning? Huh? This has never happened before. The Oratrice actually returned a different verdict from the Chief Justice. I mean, have you ever heard of an innocent Fatui Harbinger? Do you think the Oratrice might have just convicted him on general principle? But weren't the charges about the serial disappearances case? No matter what else he's guilty of, it shouldn't affect the verdict in this case, right? Child has been declared guilty by the Oratrice. Just what is going on here? The judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal is, by law, the final verdict of the court. We must accept the guilty verdict. Guards, please take the suspect into custody per court protocol. Oh, this is where the fight starts, isn't it? So this is how justice is done in Fontaine. What a joke. You've got your rules. Well, I've got mine too! I am sorry. If you have been wronged, we will find the truth. But the rules of the court must be upheld. Oh, he got a cut on his face. Apologies. This is also the first time I've encountered such a situation. However, according to the rules established at the conception of Fontaine's court system, the Oratrice's judgment is the final verdict of the court. All I do is follow court procedure. As for why the Oratrice arrived at the conclusion it did, you should probably ask someone more knowledgeable than me. If even the Chief Justice doesn't know, then we have no choice but to ask the Archon herself. 
looking at me. I had nothing to do with it. I I don't know what happened there either. Hey, stop staring at me! What does Lady Farina mean by that? She says she has no idea either, but that's impossible. Didn't she create the Oratrice herself? Yeah, so are the verdicts reliable or not? Can results like this really be called justice? <sighs> My dearest citizens, did you really think we'd allow an incorrect verdict to be handed out in this court? Did you really believe that the judgment could be mistaken or be the result of some sort of random mishap? Don't tell me. You thought even I had been blindsided by the Oratrice's result. But the way she looked just now, it was pretty obvious she had no idea what was going on. However, given the state of things, I shall give you an explanation. Everything that just took place, including my supposed shock and bafflement, was a part of an elaborate performance, with every action meant to stir up drama and excitement. Bullshit. And, <laughs> of course, for every performance, there is a script. Everything has unfolded exactly as I expected from the very beginning. As the embodiment of the very concept of justice, the Oratrice shall never render an arbitrary judgment. If you thought Child had nothing to do with the serial disappearances case, it is only because you've been blinded by the superficial appearance of innocence. Everything he's done, not to mention the danger he poses, are beyond ordinary comprehension and completely unforgivable! All shall be revealed in time. You will come to understand my noble intentions, as well as the absolute correctness of the Oratrice's verdict. <laughs> I still call bullshit. Now, having said that, although I hate to leave things hanging in suspense, it is now time for this performance to end. As the lead actress, I shall be the first to take my leave. Toodaloo! So she chose to make her escape after all, did she? So you're saying we shouldn't put much stock into what she just said? Hmm. She probably just put on that performance to save face. As for the truth, it's unlikely that she actually has any idea. Way to pull the rug out from under her. However, please be assured that I will continue to investigate this case in a personal capacity. Just as I promised, if the judgment has been incorrect, we will do our utmost to clear his name. All right. Even though we feel pretty badly for him, we'll take your word for it for now. After all, he's done plenty of bad stuff. So he should have known he'd go to prison someday, right? Ooh, I reached the end of this segment. And I got some rewards. Hmm. Leave the opera house. <laughs> So, got about six minutes left on the timer. So, what I'm thinking of doing is just making this a bit shorter of an episode. Just because I'm at a point where I can go back into co-op and stuff. So, uh, I guess that's going to be it for now. And I'll see you guys later.